this is the second video of temperate zone of the world okay now we are going to learn the main factors affecting the climate of a place torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone and for this three temperate zone uh, heat zone we have to learn the um, latitudes very clearly the important latitudes so let's go let's start okay myself sutapa ma'am uh, welcome you in edu logo's mind so first of all i want to say the important latitudes already you have learned you have you all of you know go through these important latitudes once again that is 0 degree equator or great circle and that is 23 and half de half degree northern latitude tropic of cancer and that is 23 and half degree southern tropic of capricorn and next 66 and half degree northern hemisphere arctic circle and 66 and half degree south antarctic circle and that is 90 degree north north pole 90 degree south south pole these that the, these are the point just in point so this all these latitudes are parallel with each other now about the heat zones how the sun falls on this uh, area due to those this this uh, temperate zone divided from 23 and half degree north to 23 and half degree south that is totally torrid zone northern torrid zone and southern torrid zone above the torrid zone in north hemisphere northern hemisphere from tropic of cancer to arctic circle that is north temperate zone practice this diagram 2 3 times more than that so north temperate zone and just down from tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle that is southern temperate zone and in north 66 and half degree to 90 degree it is north frigid zone totally ice sheet no cultivation there because no soil is there totally it is frigid zone always thick layer of ice covered this area and this area too 66 and half degree south to northern southern pole that is south frigid zone these two areas totally covered with thick ice sheets so no cultivation people only catch the fish from the um, uh, sea and uh, they kill the animals and having the meat okay because people living in igloo because this area whole thick layer of ice covered no soil is available so this temperate zone is depend um, heat zones are divided into three parts on the basis of sunlight heat of the sunlight now to torrid zone means equatorial or tropical zone frigid zone means polar zone and that's why the polar bear uh, find in frigid zone that they are called polar bear torrid means very hot and dry and the general climate of this zone is hot humid and wet okay the meaning of temperate temperate zone temperate means mild the temperate zone experiences the temperate zone experiences a climate that is cooler and drier than the torrid zone yahan par zyada heat hai sabse zyada heat is area torrid zone because sun rays falls directly sun rays falls here directly so now the question uh, exercises that is humid 
torrid, temperate, frigid, arctic. Okay, the rays of the sun falls almost directly on on the equator and become more slanted and become more slanted or directly on the equator this much okay wind blowing from cold regions make a place cool second answer Land and sea breezes are caused by the daily change of temperature and pressure between land and water. This is the third fill in the blanks. Now the last one. Based on the in intensity of the sunlight the earth receives, it has been divided into three major temperate temperature or heat zones. The torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone okay now last question answer portion name the various factors affecting the climate of the place so i think you can answer it this is number one distance of a place from the equator number two altitude of a place direction of winds, temperature, humidity and rainfall, distance of a place from the sea. Now next, how does the distance of a place make from the equator affecting its climate? Places near the sea, equator or near it, receive the near the equator or near it uh, receive the maximum sunlight so these places are hot the re the regions away from the equator and near the poles receive slanting rays so in these regions the heat spread over a larger area larger area making these places which are away from equator less hot this much question number two answer number two okay name and describe the three major temperature zone of the earth very easy three major temperature zone the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone now what type of climate does the torrid zone have and what is the extent of the frigid zone the torrid zone have hot humid and wet climate and the frigid zone extend from arctic circle 66 from the frigid zone extends question number 5 this is question number 4 this is question number 4 and this is question number 5 extends from the arctic circle 66 and half degree to north pole 90 degree north this is called the north frigid zone and same the south frigid zone also this is including question number 5 frigid zone extends northern por portion southern portion ok hope it is clear this lesson ends and this true false you do of your own if you are having any problem then you can ask